the Somali is a long hair Abyssinian, so the breed comes from a cross between an Abbey and a long hair cat. Maybe a Persian or an Angora, and some other are saying that it's a natural mutation, but nobody can tell the, the truth, so it's a mystery for us. <laughs> It's a very active cat, it's like Abby, so uh, they like to run around the house, they are very curious, very affectionate, uh, they love to see everything. You're doing something, they want to help, so you open the door, they want to see what's behind the door. Uh, you have a bag, they want to see what's in the bag, so they're always around you in the house. It's like, some are calling them like they're all like dog cats you know they are you're throwing a ball they bring the ball to you so they are for very active people so they are like a complete cat it's a good family cat you know it's good for children they love everybody in the house so they will love other cats they will love your dog your children they are they are sleeping with you under the, the blankets you, I have one cat at home who is taking a shower every day with me so he's playing in the shower so they are very good cats for family they are very talkative you're talking to them they answer you but it's not annoying you know uh, they have a very little voice a very small voice uh, but they like they like to talk to chat with you they know how to let you know what they want if you are an active people, you will like Somali. The better owner for a Somali uh, is a very active people who, will, who would like to play, who would like to, to see your cat run and climb all, everywhere in the house. You know, they, they, if you have cat uh, scratching poles, they like to climb at them and to, to jump everywhere in the house. You're tapping on your shoulder and they jump in your arms, so you have to to be very active.